Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be a Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon, and Aquarius Rising monthly tarot reading for July 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards, and we can jump straight away to the uh, to the spread. All right, so the first card which represents the topic for Aquarius for the month of July is going to be the uh, Four of Pentacles, followed by the second card which stands for the uh, peripheral activities that Aquarius can go for for the month of July if they feel to, you know, if, you, if they feel about it. Uh, that will be the Nine of Cups. Afterwards, we do have the challenges that Aquarius have to face throughout the month of uh, July. This is going to be the uh, Ace of Cups, followed by the uh, fourth card here, which stands for the positive aspect of the month. That will be uh, the Five of Cups. And then the last one, which regards to the um, guidance the tarot has for your queries this is going to be the king of pentacles all right so once again let's go through the cards here the first one as the topic is going to be the four of pentacles followed by the second one which is the nine of cups the third one here it is the ace of cups followed by the uh, five of cups and then the last one is going to be the king of pentacles <clears throat> All right, so Aquarius, uh, this uh, month of uh, July, it doesn't look like that is going to be that active. As a matter of fact, uh, it's it's just going to be an ordinary month, at least according to these cards, guys. And this lack of um, dynamic, it's what really going to get into you, all right? Because most likely you will want the things to develop uh, one idea more faster than, than developing uh, at the month of July. But uh, what you may not recognize for the month of July itself is that you can establish yourself into a very good, cozy, comfortable and solid position as well. Which is displayed here with the first card uh, as it is the Four of Pentacles and that is the topic. So the month itself is very favorable that you adopt such position that I said. Establishing yourself and uh, making your future more secure than, uh, than usual, right? So uh, consolidating upon your marriage, consolidating upon your career, uh, career excuse me, career, career, yeah. Um, solidifying your positions in there so you should not be uh, so you don't be afraid that you're going to be kicked off job for example or um, making certain actions to consolidate your marriage or relationship uh, which is going to make you more secure upon that your partner ain't going to leave you at a certain stage and etc etc so certain things can be um, <clears throat> can be initiated and exerted for throughout the months of a um the month of July, but the general topic here says that 
the month of July is going to be very comfortable, deprived from any kind of surprises, if you want to say it that way, which, like I said to some of you, really is going to get into your nerves in the sense of that nothing extraordinary is to happen out there. So the accompanied card here, it's going to be the nine of uh, wands, the formation. It is a, a passive, um, passive neutrals. So the nine of wands gives a little bit of variety. I would say uh, it does refer to some changes that you can do. These are quite conscious changes, you know, like rearranging your desk at work. Uh, <clears throat> changing the company that you're going to spend time with and etc etc and those changes are completely directed so you can uh, you can basically have a little bit more fun than usual now you need to know that those changes however are going to jeopardize a little bit just by a little bit you know your steady positions your secure positions so do not be surprised if you go for these you know out of ordinary kind of actions and out of ordinary kind of associations associations, excuse me, uh, it may cause a little bit more conflict that you have anticipated. For example, you know, you are establishing a solid position into your marriage and instead you are making changes into the time that you spend, for example, with your wife and instead start spending more time with, with a friend of yours, you know, because it's a bit exhilarating. There could be a little bit of an argument in there in between you and your wife just so you know, but the options, but the option is there should you feel bored to the death. Now, the next card, it is about the peripheral activities, and that is uh, the uh, Nine of Cups. So, the Nine of cup, uh, Cups here refers to those kind of activities which makes you feel happy in general, having ba uh, beverage at the end of the evening with, uh, with your companion, you know, or just if you are like me, I'm not Aquarius, but still, you know, uh, playing some video game at the end of the working day and etc, etc. Those things which are giving you pleasure to do, you can completely indulge yourself with them for throughout the month, considering that the month is going to be quite peaceful on its own accord. We did had another star sign with a peaceful month, but it was a, a different kind of peace in there. And while they, they didn't have solid positions, they had a lot to think about into this month deprived of actions, right? Or deprived of any kind of ups and downs. While with you, you know, you're pretty much figured out, you are sitting very cozy and comfortably where you are, and now you can do quite a lot to indulge yourself with those pleasant activities. Like I said, you know, having beverages with your friends, you know, playing video games, watching TV shows, and whatever makes you feel happy. Or if, you know, walking in nature makes you feel happy, you are completely free to do it here. You are going to have more than enough time, you know, to make yourself, um, how can I say, entertained, all right? Uh, the accompanied card here is going to be the Lovers, the Formation. It is a uh, passive neutrals, once again, is what we do have. So, <clears throat> the Lovers here points that uh, you are going to be accompanied much with those uh, pleasant activities, meaning that, uh, you know, they may not be entirely approved by people that you want them to be approved here with the lovers, all right? But at the end of the day, you know, if you try to make everybody happy, you cannot make yourself happy. And no matter that you try to make everybody happy, you never will be able to. So at the end of the day, why don't you try to make yourself happy instead, first and foremost? And then if you don't have, if you do have time, make uh, someone else happy. And one more thing I want to say here it is that, um, don't get way too carried away, all right? While it is good to indulge yourself with those kind of entertaining activities throughout the month, also there are those um, daily issues or rather like daily responsibilities that needs to be addressed, all right? And these couple of cards here, the Nine of Cups and the Lover's card into the peripheral activities, it may point that you can neglect those uh, chores, everyday chores that you have to do, you know, and they're just going to stockpile and are to disrupt a little bit, you know, the harmony that you are to find yourself later in the month. So that leads us, uh, Aquarius, to the next card here, which stands for the challenges, and that is going to be the Ace of Cups, and it is that nothing is really happening, all right? I mean, there is no 
new extraordinary circumstances for you to act upon. There is no new changes of, of, of the environment. There isn't um, anything that you can work with that it is new, I mean, all right? So we're talking about new thing that is gonna give you a lot of content that is gonna seem like worth proceeding with, all right? And that is what the challenge is about here with the Ace of Cups, making something new like a new project you know like a new friendship or like a, a a new hobby of yours relevant to your daily routine so it's it's kind of like you know yeah it's gonna be a boring month for what it seems so to, you know in order to overcome the challenge here with the ace of cups is very important to ad ad and ad identify you know what kind of activities you love to do and definitely you can expand on those activities with this card it is just is going to be like i said challenging because you may lack the enthusiasm to do so the accompanied card here is going to be the four of cups and see you are definitely talking about boredom here guys but additionally to that as the as the formation it is a uh, passive supporters there is a lot to have to do with your mood and maybe you are like me i don't have a good mood during the summer i i personally hate summer it's quite hot i hate being heated you know while i'm at home uh, it's it's quite good because you know I do have air conditioning, but when I go out, I mean I don't want to go out. It's just that he punches me straight away into the face, and that severely you know impacts my mood. But we're definitely talking about here a uh, uh, for a couple of uh, for a couple of things. You can be either so emotionally fulfilled that you don't feel the urge or the need to do anything, right? Or you can be so bored and um, how do you say it when you lack passion, you know? I don't know, we do, in my language, we do have a certain word for that. But uh, I, I don't want to say discouraged, but um, yeah, well, I hope that you know what I mean. You know, you lack so much enthusiasm and passion to do anything that it is just, it's whatever, you're quite indifferent for for those kind of you know provoking a new emotional uh, a further emotional stir right but that but with these couple of cards guys there are definitely a a, a new experience that you can try on here uh, with the four of cups to the ace of cups it just requires a, a little bit to push yourself okay just to say okay today i'm gonna just stand up you know and and, and try and and go i i'm gonna go to i don't know hike all right, or I'm gonna go and, and ride a roller coaster, right? Or I'm just gonna travel with my car somewhere and these kind of uh, and these kind of stuff. So uh, the next card re um, represents the uh, positive aspect of the month, and that is going to be the uh, Five of Cups. So this card represents waiting, in the sense of that you are uh, you are going to be uh, acknowledged here. Uh, throughout the month it could be through an information confirmation or something like that you know that's um <clears throat> how can i describe it that something you are um you are waiting for is to be developed right and that is going to be the positive thing so it may it, however the bad news about it is that it probably is it's going to take a month or two more more all right you are going to be acknowledged about delay <clears throat> but in the same time this uh, this delay does not say that the thing ain't gonna happen. Just on the contrary, you know, it's it, it's delayed because it's going to happen. Because the five of cups points to a partial loss or a partial delay that does not influence the um, the outcome of the event when it sits on a, a positive position. And additionally to that, with the five of cups, you may uh, kind of receive a even bigger or rather like establish a, a bigger determination not to give up on a certain either dream of yours or a goal of yours, you know, or just a, a performance of yours as well. Even though the month of July is going to be extremely boring and you ain't going to have the chance to do such a, a performance. The accompanied card here is going to be uh, the Hierophant, the formation, it is a, a passive friends that we do have. <clears throat> so with the, five, with the Hierophant card to the Five of Cups, it's a very peculiar uh, combination, first of all. It, it first tells us that there, are, there is a certain uh, way how things are, are be done, you know, we cannot just jump 
and, and, and make two steps um, in one. I mean, I don't know how to describe it, but there is a, a certain code of conduit that needs to be kept in order the thing to develop. And this is why the delay is experienced. For example, you want to buy yourself a new house and you are um, applying for a mortgage, you know, but this mortgage needs to be revisited. You need to be ass uh, assessed as well, uh, evaluated, and that takes time, all right? And uh, the uh, customer service of the bank calls you and tells you, look, your, your documents are in process, you know, but probably there you will have to wait a couple of weeks more or a month more while you have planned to have your house or your new home today, okay? And, and, and even though you will have to wait a little bit longer, there is a technical time and technical procedure that needs to be kept in order that thing to become reality. So these are two, what are these two cards are saying here into this reading? To have a little bit more, it's not about even a patience, guys. It's more about recogni recognizing that, uh, <clears throat> like I said, there is an established technical either time or I don't know how to describe it, you know, they really, you cannot force these matters to happen, but you are to receive a confirmations, a confirmation that they are to happen nonetheless. And the last card here, it is about the guidance the Tarot is offering to you. And that is going to be the uh, King of Pentacles. So guidance wise, the King of Pentacles urges you, as we saw, that you are going to be uh, sitting in a quite comfortable and cozy position. The King of Pentacles urges you to secure it with everything you got, all right? As a matter of fact, uh, you should not jeopardize it with uh, new conquests of yours. You can do it with new endeavors, which is completely different, you know? Something that you haven't experienced until, that, uh, until this moment, but that doesn't have big influence, you know, upon your goal, all right? So we're talking about peripheral activities here. While the while the King of Pentacles urges you to secure your marriage, you know, to secure your job as well. So do what is necessary in order to do so before you think about, uh, you know, how you can expand on them. Just for an example, so you want to be promoted into your career, but you do have two projects that you're working upon right now. Now, instead of focusing on being promoted, focus yourself to uh, perform exceptional into this project and as soon as you do so and you consolidate your position then your company will have no chance whatsoever but to offer you something more all right so do not well it, how can i des describe it do not focus on the um i don't know um well focus on the symptoms all right rather than the cause it's, it's what I'm trying to say here with uh, the King of Pentacles. And additionally to that with the King of Pentacles, it does look like as well that uh, if you are planning to make any investments whatsoever, that is a confirmation that your investments are to be repaid, all right? So you ain't gonna lose from them. The accompanied card is going to be the Nine of Pentacles and definitely we're talking about investments here and being exceptional in what you are doing right now in the month of July, guys. I know it's gonna be boring, you know, and tedious for the most part, but uh, it's, it's gonna serve you as a trampoline that is gonna just skyrocket you, all right? So yeah, uh, it seems that you're on a final line here and uh, don't, how can I place it? Don't drop off your performance and, uh, you know, do not skip classes, if I may say it that way. Just don't slack. And uh, in, in every free time that you do have, guys, attend to your hobbies and in generally to the things that are making you uh, happy. But major changes this month? No. Major turmoils? No, not at all. The only thing that you have to fight is the boredom. And the fact that some of the endeavors and responsibilities you need to attend to are going to be a bit tedious and, um, you know, irritating because you are good at them, right? And there is nothing interesting anymore in them at all. So that being said, this was your monthly tarot reading Aquarius for July 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, I hope that we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.